Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Ooh, the sun is showing up, so the quality is going to be a bit better. Um, welcome back to a new vlog, guys. I have missed you. Oh my god, how is everybody doing? How have you been doing, guys? Um, thank you so much to everyone who was checking up on me. I really feel like I have friends for real because tell me why people are DMing me and they're like, babe, where's the vlog? Oh my god, Sana. Oh my god, thank you so much to everyone who checked up on me. Guys, I'm doing okay. I just like i had said on my last vlog i had traveled i really didn't anticipate to stay that long but i went and things just happened and i was like no let me just let me just spend this quality time with my family um i've already started missing them <laughs> can you believe that but more importantly i had missed my house and i had missed um, vlogging so of course when i left my house was clean but i feel like obviously because i wasn't around it's a bit dusty so i want to tidy up i really don't even know where i'm going with this vlog but i just knew i wanted to vlog so yeah i want to tidy up the space and then later on my friend is coming in the afternoon um i'm also going to vlog that um what else Ooh. <laughs> the last time i had a few questions that you guys had asked wow i I'm very serious by the way. I'm going to answer those questions in this vlog. I really want to make this vlog equal a bit long. You know, there's nothing that screams seriousness as those vloggers who post like one hour vlog. One hour vlog, oh my God. So I'm going to try and do that. Maybe not one hour. Let's let's start with um, a reasonable target. <laughs> maybe 30 minutes or more or maybe 40 minutes so we'll see but yeah that's what's up i love how the sun is shining honestly i've woken up quite early and that's because my curtains are quite bright as you guys know so i don't really get enough sleep i don't know if you can tell <laughs> with my eyes but i'm not complaining i'm just happy to be back in this space so yeah i don't want to talk too much let's start cleaning and then we'll catch up later I am so glad that I did not return this carpet once it was clean. Um, at least now I get to use it. It is super, super clean. So I wanted to show you this coat that I thrifted, another long coat. But I don't think you guys can see it clearly. Let me set you up somewhere. Tuone. Uh, so this is how the coat looks like. I wanted to move further so that you can see the length. I switched up the bodysuit to white so that um, it can look better. Of course, black and white. But it's such a cute coat. I absolutely love it. Let me get closer so that you can see the material. Uh, it's It has like a velvety material. And this one is great because it's not similar. It, it doesn't have the same material as the other one, the other long coat. So I'm just obsessed with these coats, guys, and I think I'm just going to sell it this way. What? <laughs> but yeah, and then the back looks like that. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Ignore the flowers. As you can see, they're literally dead. Like, <laughs> but we're going to clean up just now. Absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. It looks so cute. You can bank on it. You can put a hundred grand on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the order to call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on it. Show them Gangnam Star, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on them. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah. Nobody know tomorrow. 
choro ka choro and if a boy feel my choro make him look red like a tomato if him not dead then he come at us no go from see the carpet is super clean i don't know why uh it gets cleaner when i give somebody else to clean it when i clean it so at least this will take me for another three weeks before it gets dirty again but i'm just happy that the house is now super super clean it smells nice as well so 
um so i'm done with the cleaning and my friend just called me and they were like instead of just chilling in my house we go to their place uh so yeah that's what we are going to do i wish i had straightened my hair yesterday because i don't think i have i actually i can see here but yeah i've not even prepared and he's like nikifika puku memaliza guys ladies take time when they're preparing i don't even know what i'm going to wear but it's just something casual we're actually celebrating uh his promotion at work so congratulations to him uh so yeah as i was saying i wish i had straightened up my hair because now my hair looks crazy but i think i'm i'm, I'm going to salvage it you just wait so let me look for an outfit then we head out i also need to take a shower but that i'll do very quickly and yeah i really tried to salvage this hair Bro, let me set you up. I show you my very <laughs> basic outfit. Guys, oh my god! I promise you, it doesn't look as bad. But yeah, I have this yellow sweater, some jeans, and then white Converse. I don't know whether I should carry this bag like this. Let's head out. But she don't love me, she too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know if she too down Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no lady In the meantime In the meantime I'll be doing what you want Everybody beats like Odell Know oh, my mom, my killers don't tell Shut down my mom, cause they knew you off the shelf Now oh, my bitch is this, this and Will you be my leading lady? I want a culture and get a little baby In the meantime It's not going well, It's the meantime I don't know if you know what you want but it's been a few hours when it felt like days Only been days but it felt like months I've been gone for a year, only go like once Like my friends are going to be lost In the meantime It's not going to be lost In the meantime It's not going to be lost The next day. guys so today is on saturday and i'm going out a friend of mine has invited me i'm going to her place to finish up with getting ready because i've not applied um any makeup and i think i'm not going to 
go with this week i'm not sure though but this is my casual outfit uh like i've said many many times guys i'll never get um rid of my skinny jeans they just so, go so well with everything absolutely love this look um and then i've carried this bag that i had shown you guys in one of my vlogs to just make the look uh to look more less casual i think that's what i meant but yeah i know it doesn't look nice right now but the quality i know the quality sucks uh but niju new siku but anyway let's head out let's go have fun if i get a better opportunity i'll show you the look if not we'll just catch up tomorrow but yeah i just wanted to show you my very cute outfit love love this coat it's long by the way as you can see absolutely gorgeous ever told you but you can find uh, some really good movies on YouTube yes that free YouTube not the one that you pay because there's also another one so you, need a premium, mama need to you can pay and then you can access some movies but even on YouTube if you search really well you can find some really really good movies so that's what I am trying to look for I haven't watched um, a good movie in a while and this one looks great the acting uh, yeah let me give it a chance and then we'll see guys today for dinner I'm having mashed potatoes and some beef I think I've put a lot of soup, but it's fine. I think it's okay because the mashed are kind of looking dry. And then I also have an avocado that doesn't look the best, but um, it's okay. So I just wanted to show you what I was having. I'm really feeling bad. I think it has gotten worse from the last time we talked. I even was almost unable to cook, but I was like, this is what I'm craving. I don't know why this is what I'm craving. I haven't had it in such a long time. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I am having for dinner. And then for the movie, I'm catching up with this movie that is so pathetic. But for now, I don't have anything else to watch. So let me eat that as I watch and then we'll catch up later. The next day. I just realized that I did not show you my outfit today, but yeah, that's how it looks like. But then this is a body, so this is a swimsuit. But I love the cut. It has a really, really cute cut. And then I'm wearing this cut that I've never worn it ever since I bought it. And I feel like I'm in my feminine era. I want to be like girly. Not every time in the match houses. They are getting exhausting at this point. So yeah, that's my cute, 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 cute outfit. Okay, you guys. So the week is back, first of all. And I have the worst cold that you can ever think of. But my outfit is cute. yeah i am dying guys yesterday was on uh, okay 
let's 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 start from where i left you guys off so on saturday i went out and i think that's where i got my call because um time i went home we were looking for a cab so i think that's where i got my cold and then yesterday it was really bad so i just left the whole day yesterday was on sunday even though i really really wanted to vlog because i had promised myself that i wanted to make this vlog equal long today i'm also not feeling the best but i've just forced myself because i know i will uh thank myself later <laughs> like if i was asked to do something else this is the last thing i would think of doing i'm taking some very hot tea this is my third cup guys that's how bad it is let me show you how it looks like i'm taking this um tea bags they have lemon in it it's really good especially the mixture of um lemon and sugar so yeah mm -hmm. what else the wig is back as you all can see um i feel like this wig sometimes it looks too bulky and i don't know how to thin it out so that it can look um it can look less bulky but i feel like it comes in handy for those days when i have bad hair days but yeah so two weeks ago i had asked you guys to ask me some questions i feel like i should actually just down you look so weird with your organization because i'm not and i'm not but yeah um two weeks ago you guys asked yeah that happens every time I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging. When I was sleeping, no one was talking. Learn to make noise. Let's wait. Let's wait. Um, so yeah, you guys. Oh, let me get some lip gloss. I hope they don't make noise anymore. So you guys, two weeks ago, uh, we were celebrating the fact that we had hit 4K and I had asked you guys to ask me random questions. So a few of you guys um, asked me some really, really good questions. And I think two vlogs from, from this one, I had said that I would respond to them and I just didn't get time. But today we have, I feel like we have all the time in the world because I'm not going anywhere, I'm in the house. So let me um, try to answer them. But then thank you so much to everyone who asked the questions. I really, really appreciate it. So the first person is called Winnie Kiari and her question was really good. So Winnie Kiari asked, what's the feeling of moving out to a bigger space when you don't have everything? Like all the furniture and stuff because I'm afraid of having an empty house when I move to a bigger space. And I'm also afraid of giving up on furnishing. So the feeling of moving to a bigger space is honestly really, really great. Um, someone who always sees the positive in something, because when I first moved to this house, first of all, let's get into the painting. It had a really dull, dull color, but when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I felt like it was a space that I could transform. So for me personally, having a bigger space is great, considering the fact that I've never lived in a bigger space. This is the biggest house that I've ever owned. I was coming from like a bed sitter, and even previously, I was living in a bed sitter. So honestly having a big space is great for me because it also challenges me to furnish my house for example i couldn't have uh i couldn't be owning a tv stand because obviously my previous house was quite small right now i'm planning on getting a dining table obviously i wouldn't do that as well if i had a small space so for you winnie i'd say take on the talent and i don't know anyone who hates having a big space it's honestly such a good um feeling it also shows that you're like an an, an independent woman who is serious about life i don't know there's just something about living in a big space that shows seriousness so take on the challenge don't be afraid to having a house that has um that literally doesn't have anything because obviously if you're living in a bed sitter then you move into a bigger house it will look like you don't have anything so uh as long as you're planning on furnishing it then i don't see that being a problem just furnish it at your own pace as well i i know uh for people who watch content creators especially on youtube or tiktok you'll see someone who uh moves to a space and then they will fully furnish it at a go i know that can give people like some sort of pressure because you're like no when am i going to furnish my house but i'll say uh, don't let people um, pressure you 
just furnish your house at your own pace as you can see maybe sinangaraka i will furnish my house whenever i i have money and i never feel pressured oh maybe my house is empty i never feel that way so i'd say move into that big space take on the challenge and furnish it at your own pace and yeah i hope i have answered i hope i have answered your question moving to a bigger space is honestly great and all the best when you move <laughs> so yeah all right so the second question was rumors and she was asking if i am monetized and how much i've made so far um yes i have monetized i was actually monetized uh last year yes i think my first paycheck i got it uh in december last year and then the second uh paycheck i got it after three months like january february march and then now i'm waiting for my third paycheck i have roughly made oh do, do i really need to <laughs> expose myself like this on the internet uh but for someone who is always open <sighs> guys do i really want to tell you how much i've made mm. okay let me give you an approximate amount i have made from 35 g's to 40 g's which is honestly peanuts that is like peanuts but for something that is a side job i think it's great and for something that i enjoy doing i'm not complaining and also because for the because of the potential that youtube had like you, you could literally make peanuts today and then tomorrow you you make millions so i'm not complaining that's how much i have made roughly so yeah um the third question is from dorothy and she asks first congratulations thank you i think she's referring to me hitting 4k second what's the one thing on youtube that you have learned over the years this was also a really really good um question because for someone who has been on youtube for a while now <laughs> i have learned a thing or two so my one take would be um this space is for everyone and as long as you put in the work as long as you show up you are going to win at the end of it all that's my take as long as you show up as long as you don't give up as long as you're always 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 putting in the work putting in the work means like you're always improving you're always trying to test out your content you are going to win at the end of it all so yeah um the fourth question which was really great was from josephine kamau and she was asking um about relationships how can i trust men i have lost trust and it's making me unable to fall in love anymore wow <laughs> don't we have been there all of us um i feel like wow men 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 it's just <sighs> anyway so my point would be first of all you know you need to learn to forgive forgiveness is literally like the first thing that you need to practice in order to move on i feel like if you are if you've lost trust in men it's it means that you've still not forgiven that one particular person that um did something wrong to you and if you don't forgive then you're not going to move on and it's getting in the way of you getting a potential not all men are bad honestly that is a slogan that i always believe in at a common 99 percent nearby there's always one percent that is good i want to believe that so just forgive forgive and you try and move on and also have in mind that not everyone is bad that is all i can say honestly because you really do need to fall in love there are men there are good men out there i have seen it from other people <laughs> not not from me but i'm still hopeful that there are few really good men that are left i'm really hoping so josephine i would say um just try to forgive that person and then most of the time one thing that i've realized is that when men especially men when they wrong you most of the time it has nothing to do with something that you did it's all about their character and they just want to do it maybe because of the thrill it has nothing to do with you and the the, the sooner you learn that the sooner you learn to let go anytime a guy just hurts you like you'll be like oh that's on you that's not on me and you'll forgive and you'll be able to move on easily so yeah have that in mind all the best in your relationships and just try and give other people a chance even though those 
maybe a few men have like disappointed you not everyone will disappoint you and you will only learn that if you give them a chance so learn to forgive and um, all the best in your relationships so yeah guys those are all the really nice questions that people asked um i hope you have i don't know taken something from it if you also feel like you need to add something to those questions we are all here to learn i'm not even saying that i know those are just my opinions so if you feel like you also have like a different opinion or maybe you have a different advice you can drop it in the comment section let's let's learn from each other and yeah i really just wanted to finish up this part because i was feeling really really bad um now i just want to chill and catch a movie or something like i can't wait to just sleep oh my god i'm feeling really bad but i hope the flu will be gone um in a day's time maybe tomorrow i'll be doing so much better but yeah guys i guess we'll catch up later because i feel like the vlog is still not long enough so today i'm to now vlog i'll uh, see you then This is what I'm having for dinner today. I don't know about you guys, but if there's one thing that I usually struggle with is um, deciding what to make. I literally had to Google this. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why it's so difficult, especially when you live alone. At least when you're with someone, you can like um, think together. But when you're alone, you're literally the only one who has to come up with what to cook. But anyway, I'm not complaining because I do enjoy living alone for the most part. So yeah, this is my very scrumptious meal <laughs> and then i made some kachumbari on the side so yeah i just wanted to share with you what i was having for dinner today i don't know guys even if my meals look uh basic most of the time i really do hope that i do i do give you some ideas here and there on what to cook so yeah let me eat this and then we'll catch up later